Hello friend, welcome back to AutoResource YouTube channel. In previous video, I showed you that this 2006 Nissan Frontier came here for check engine light. We discovered together that the code was P1754, which is input clutch solenoid valve function. And we discuss in that video all possible causes triggering that a situation and that code. Let's go together right now, try to diagnose and find which one of these causes could be present on this vehicle. And it's always put it uh, and it's always good to put it in the context, right? This is older vehicle 2006, but it has 178,000 miles just to give you idea and put you in the ballpark. So what we said it could be faulty input clutch solenoid, right? But it's hard to get to it. Faulty harness or connector inside of the transmission. That's hard to check. Poor electrical connector inside of the transmission, hard to check. But it could be contaminated automatic transmission fluid with the coolant, right? Due to the failing radiator or it could be low transmission fluid level. So let's go and see what we can find. And this truck was here for approximately two hours, right? Because I was making that video, the engine is cold, the transmission fluid, therefore it's cold too. Now, you know where the dipstick, right? This tranny fortunately still has a dipstick. And that's located down there. You can see it, I will touch it right here. That's the top. So that's possible to check, right? Very easy. But if you want to get correct measure, you better have it nice and hot. So I will have to go on the test drive. When it's hot, I don't want to be opening and checking the radiator. But I said it's cold, so this is basically perfect chance to ch check the radiator and the fluid, the, the coolant which is inside for possible contamination. So carefully, I can feel it, it's totally cold, so I can open this lid. Let's see if there is any possible contamination. Whoa! Are you kidding me? That was, I will say, way too easy. Look at this, I apologize. Look at this milkshake. Look at this mess. This is absolutely crazy. Let me show you inside of that radiator or on the on the top. Yeah, let me try to show you detail of that radiator entry. Right here. Look at it. Same thing, right? It's just the milkshake, it looks like a mix of the coolant and possibly the automatic transmission fluid. And that will mean that the very first check we made on this vehicle, right, will confirm that this is the bad radiator and these internal parts where the automatic transmission fluid is inside right being cooled off and the engine coolant they are broken and these two fluids are mixing together and of course this condition will not only trigger one coat but this is extremely dangerous because that can destroy that automatic transmission right if you allow that coolant in all those parts and those servers and clutches that can completely destroy it so i have to drop off everything right now i need to get on the phone check with the nissan dealer if this is the troublesome radiator if it's really integrated these two are in the one unit and in this case it needs to be immediately replaced i will hope that tranny is still okay I will have to completely flush that, right? Drop the pan, make it absolutely clean as much as possible, right? And go this way. So 
thank you for watching that was shocking I'm still like staring at you like wow that was easy the first thing first place we look we have the nasty fluid in the cooling system well, I hope you find this video helpful if you do please give it thumb up and make sure you are subscribed that you don't miss any future videos thanks for watching have a great day